Step number two, how to set up an e-wallet. Right, we're going to set up an e-wallet. An e-wallet is an equivalent of a payment processor like PayPal uh, before Bitcoin storage, um, where you can buy and sell uh, and receive uh, and send and receive bitcoins. I'm going to set up an account with uh, Coinbase.com, but there's obviously other options like um, the blockchain, Zapphole, or, or Uphold, etc. Um, I'm going to click on here, sign up. To the first name, last name, email address, which is a secure password. All right, that's a bit better. Uh, click on I'm not a robot. Um, choose all images with the storefront. Verify. Uh, ensure that you tick I agree the user agreement and private policy. Click on create account. Okay, so it says uh, verification, um, go to your email and verify email address. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, choose individual, click on next, choose your country, add a phone number, go to next. Um, you then need to upload your ID uh, and a payment. Uh, so that will be your bank account details, your debit or credit card. Uh, and we're going over to this step. But I'm not going to do this now, so I'll choose skip. I'll do this later. And this takes you uh, to the dashboard. Um, here is the, uh, the current value of uh, the Bitcoin, which is $1,379.94. That's gone up by $264, that's crazy, and that's in the last month. Um, here, this is your balance here, um, so I need to add some funds. So now to add funds, I go to buy and sell. I've got my debit card uh, linked to my account, um, so I want to buy the amount of 0 0.10 BTC, uh, which comes to 111 uh, pounds uh, for me I'm based in the UK um, now so because the uh, there's a fee here for four dollar twenty nine I'm gonna increase that to 0 0.11 um, which is 123 um, pounds uh, and I think that should be okay so I'm gonna click here buy now and just confirm buy now this just takes a few minutes um, just show you this I've just had my limit increased recently uh, my new buy limit is 15,000 new sale limit is uh, 15,000 the credit debit card limit is 2,500 so which is pretty good they do increase the uh, the amount um, but it does take a few weeks uh, go back to my dashboard I now have $152.52 which I think is uh, enough to uh, make the purchase so if I go back to my Gladio coin account um, I now want to send a payment of 10 BTC to this address, to this long address. Um, so if I go to this area here, it's called uh, send and request, where you can send uh, Bitcoins and request Bitcoins using um, this long address. I'll paste that in there. Um, I'll choose 0.110 BTC uh, and I'll click on send funds. Just uh, double check that and hit confirm. Okay, send complete. Right, what we're gonna do now is go over to this account. Now, this is really important, guys. Um, you've gotta wait around 20 minutes to half an hour uh, for this account to be activated. Um, so, do wait um, at least 20 minutes to half an hour, um, and then you should be able to log in with the, with the uh, credentials that you first set the account up with. Okay, guys, so now I'll see you on the next step, step number three. Um, logging into your upgraded account.